Hey, Dr. Tam here. I want to show you how to use your cervicpedic pillow. This is for all of our current patients who have a cervicpedic pillow. If you don't have one, we have some in the office. But how you would use this is you're laying on your back. This is for the back of your head, the middle of your neck, the bottom of your neck. And when you're laying on it, you're using it just like so, okay? You can bring this on a plane, train, car rides. But for this exercise, you're going to lay on a nice and firm surface, all right? So while you're laying on this on a nice and firm surface, what you like to do is you always want to start off with the lowest setting at setting one. I want to show you how to actually change the settings. So when you do change the settings, you can usually, the easiest way is to put it on a firm surface. You press the two buttons down, and I want to show you here, the two buttons right here and right here. And when you press on it, it starts pressing up and it starts clicking. To bring it back down, what you like to do to bring it back down is you press this button towards that little exclamation mark and boom. I call this the incredible mark, right? So what you can do is once again to set it the right way, make it higher. You press down and push up to bring it back down once again press these three little lines towards the Incredibles button. Boom, and you're back down. So how should you be using this? The first day, I'd like you to use this for about five to 10 minutes, all right? Five to 10 minutes on this the first day because I don't want you to get sore. I want you to fall in love with it and really like it and use it every day like I do. So five to 10 minutes the first day, we're still on the first setting, all right? Understand that these settings here, every click is half of a line. So listen for the click, now you're at half a line. The next click, you're at one line. You heard two clicks and once again, you're just on the second line, all right? So now I'm gonna press it back down. So what you're gonna do with this is while you're laying on this five to 10 minutes the first day, 15 minutes maybe the second day, 20, 25, 30 minutes. Now people ask me, well, Dr. Tam, can I go longer than 30 minutes? Of course you can't go longer than 30 minutes, right? People who use this usually have a lack of a curve in their neck or maybe a reverse curve and you want to promote a normal curve while you're getting adjusted. Now, if you're using this, people who are outside using this that do not have a, a good chiropractor who's aligning your neck, this actually might be really, really sore for you because you're not getting that movement while you're using this. But getting back to our current patients on how to use this, once you work your way every day increasing by about five minutes to 10 minutes, if you can make it to 30 minutes comfortably, now it's time to add one click. Listen for it, right there. Now you're at half a line, half a notch. You're gonna lay on this for now, instead of 30, dial it back to about 20 minutes. Go 20 minutes, next day 25, 30 minutes. And then once you hit 30 again, you can go up one click. And now you are on line number two, all right? After the second increase, now you go back down to 20, 25, 30 minutes. So on the third day of line number two, you can increase it once again. People ask me, Dr. Tam, can I lay on this for more than 30 minutes a day? Of course you can. Do 30 minutes in the morning if you have the time, 30 minutes at night. The harder you work on this, the more proactive you are, the better you're going to get faster, all right? Here's what I want all of our patients to do. Once you get to about halfway, between three and four on the third or fourth line, right? Right about here, you're on the fourth line, all right? By the fourth line, you must bring this back in and I want to see where you are at because while you're laying on this, not everyone can go all the way to line number six. Some people do well at line number three, three and a half or four, and they just stay there. Some people do need six, but I like to bring it in. I like for you to bring it in on one of your visits. We reevaluate to see where you're at and to see how much better we need to improve what we need to do, make some changes to it. Some of our patients even bring this when they do their lower back decompression. They set it right here, 20 minutes of decompression while they're working on this. Well, there goes one session right there, 20 minute session. All right, I really, really hope this helps.